Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I just want to give you some quick update and give you my plan, what we're gonna do. As you can see the old blue colors now is gone. I have only left in here three colors to do and that's it. So we have in here number 12, 13, and 16 really similar actually those two colors together and that's it that's all gonna be done and also the poppy eyes with white color so it's actually four colors left but uh, I'm not gonna stitch together with you because I want this video to be finished project I will stitch little by little plug it in to give you an update what I did and you probably heard my cat he's begging up there in the kitchen for a treats from Catherine um, Catherine can you please give him a treat so he'd be quiet <laughs> oh, the cat he loves his treats so anyway um, sorry for the noises in the background I will do color by color will show you a little bit how this look like and only thing we will stitch together is the eyes and that's going to be our finishing points as I, as I promised to do this together and then we will wash this canvas together with you and hopefully all these links will go away but before I wash canvas I will take this DMC coat and write down into my threads so later when I will put them in the bobbins uh, I will know which color I have. Alright, so we'll see you shortly. few hours later and here is my update. I left only these two colors in here. The brown stripes and green symbols. That's it. That's all that's left for now. And I already recorded one more video with diamond painting and now I'm just gonna work uh, on the symbol I'm, I'm starting here on the bottom and I already put thread this color and I will do my green symbols that's it we'll get back to you when I'm done this color this is how it's look like right now we are so close to finish hello everybody Natalia here Catherine is my videographer right hi. now hi so we're gonna take you all the way up there to the lake and I'm gonna show you something that I call my garden <laughs> so, and also Catherine's gonna show you some trick of her volleyball we're going to play to the court volleyball you so, mean basketball yeah basketball See you there. Here is another part of the lake we call a sandy beach. Not much for the sand in here, but still. Now the interesting thing in here, right Catherine? What's the interesting thing in here? But Look at all garlic. this thing. It's garlic. it's garlic. So when I need fresh garlic for my salad for cooking, I just send Catherine here on a bicycle and she gets me a garlic. So you wanna show how this works? Oh, this is really tiny one. Let's kind of grab something here. bigger. Um, Try it oh, again. Yeah. Oh, let's let's show first. Okay. <laughs> yeah. With two hands, you have to do it. Okay. Okay. If you don't know, yeah, if cobwebs. you never have a garden in your life, you this break? is a seed. Come on, break it. I'm trying. <laughs> okay. This is a seed. Okay. Let you're me right just here. I'm just Let's gonna get a big one. one. Okay, in here. Okay, okay. See, this this is garlic that you plant. That's your seeds. Where is your hand? Can I see through the camera? Okay, here it is. Look how much garlic you can plant and have a garlic for the rest of your life. So all these blooms that already over bloom on the top, that's your seeds. And then <laughs> let me try, see if I can pull out one. Um, Maybe we're gonna grab one from here. Oh, okay, this is not easy. Let's go over. And it's like tons in here. Okay, I got one. Oh, look at this one, big one. Oh, that was nice. That's a big one, garlic. 
So I'm gonna cook today shrimp on a stick, on a barbecue, and I need garlic butter to go with it. Okay, I have to use two hands to pick a few. All right, so I call it my garden. Look how much in here. They just spread it out and grow in year from year by self. This is the competition between daughter and father. <laughs> Catherine shoot and Catherine score. Come on. Oh, you are cheating. <laughs> you can't come on my side. You can't come on my side. <laughs> come on, Catherine, your turn. Shoot. Let's see how you do. Oh, we sound laughing. You can't do that. So here it is. Let me turn you all the way around to show you. There is some um, playground, picnic table. I collect my wood for the fire, and it's a beautiful, beautiful up there woody area where we shoot our videos first up there. Good morning, it's Saturday and I am on the last patch for my puppy. That's all is left in here. The stripes and we're gonna be done. All is gonna left. Second pair of the eyes and the other puppy. So I'm having here my coffee from mug from casino. He used to send me this gift for my birthday. I have up there Puppy, Catherine's gonna read me a book right now and I'm gonna cross stitch. And Puppy doesn't feel good today. He's a little bit not feeling greatest. Maybe he picked something from the beach or something, I don't know. But he's gonna be fine. He likes to roll on the beach in the sand and then dash in the water and wash himself. So Catherine, what are we reading today? Land of Stories. Second. The second. Okay, here's the book. Oh, it's kind of dark. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna zoom into your book. That's what we're gonna have. Land of Stories by Chris Colfer. Okay, so it's a sunny day. Lots of people still sleeping. And I'm gonna work in. I'm gonna work on my puppy. And here we go. We are done. I was gonna stitch with you eyes on this puppy, but my battery was recharging and I just decided go ahead and finish because I think this video will be long. So what do you think? I've finished project. I'm just gonna step back. I'm in my trailer and I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. This was the most easiest canvas to work on it. It's so easy, it's 11 count, the colors in patches, and if you want, you can add some back stitching and outline, but I think I'm just gonna keep it as it is. And then I can start wash together with you. Now I do have in here DMC code on the papers itself, so I don't worry about this to wash. I can start anytime I want. So I just wanna show you quickly uh, all the threads that left each color so I did not run out of any color and there's a 17 up there so I'm just gonna keep them as it is like this and put on some spools or how you call them just gonna take care of them at home when I get home so when I get home I will wash it together with you and we will see the finished uh, canvas and hopefully we will have all this print wash out and not gonna be staying on okay so wish me luck and let's go wash this canvas very strong waves today in the lake and that's what happened when people put boats on the water on the shore. Now they're trying to figure out how to get back on the water, what to do with that boat. Because they're not supposed to park in here. I'm sorry, it's probably very windy.
are home first thing first I always go after camping into my backyard what are all the flowers you see it start to get and look like a jungle forgive me my mess but oh, usually I stretch on this chair it's really comfortable and I'm just gonna like recline if I could show you I could go recline and just sit here and cross stitch very comfortable peaceful a little bit of breathe but also I want to show you I bought something this week and that is I have my cross stitch in here we're gonna wash in a second I got a pack of three containers so I believe it's 12 by 12 inches so it was um, $15 or 7 for one or or 15 pack of three so why not to buy it's a nice good three colors containers so before I make a mess and I'm gonna tell you the story after we start to wash my canvas so this one will sit for now in this container before I make a wet um, as you can see my flowers it's actually growing come to life after it's almost die on a, on a front yard and all I have to do is just um, grab my scissors and give it a few dead branches but it's already nice blooming so good my lemons growing good this thing overpowering in here oh one more thing one more thing I got this table it's a glass top foldable see that so now I'm gonna place this table in here next to my chair so whatever I want to put in here my tools it's gonna be staying in here maybe my coffee and it's awesome so this one is table from Canadian Tire and I have one table like this with glass top but it's not foldable just to stay straight so i like this one because i can fold them and here is my puppies is this too far away we're gonna start wash let's get close to the table okay so let's get started here is my puppies how they look like it's awesome let's hope all that ink will come out and you're not gonna see those number two anymore I cannot remember what I used in my first video I think maybe this one maybe shampoo but this is what I'm gonna use today this wash liquid and I think I might even use that one in my first wash video so I'm just gonna put not much this will do maybe two tablespoons I don't know let's just get a little bit we're gonna change and the water is like barely warm I don't make it very hot just to make it soapy last time water was crazy dirty let me maybe even readjust camera a little bit more close so you can see better just like that all right let's dip in our canvas and finger cross that we're not gonna ruin there abracadabra all right sorry about that I'm just paused a little bit video because Catherine was looking for me and you probably heard her yelling so I'm kind of just a little bit kind of like a squishing not much and I see already the ink all this DMC code already disappearing pretty fast let me even zoom you close a little bit more this is very scary part usually because when you using first time water that the ink and um, 
threads go weirdly dirty <laughs> and that's what scares me in my first time when I wash but now I'm more confident we still see clearly this number two so we will need a time to soak maybe 10 minutes like this and then I will change water again to warm soapy water do the second time so let's do a little bit at the time so I'm gonna leave this as it is like this on the water and I'm gonna tell you a scary story all right okay I'm gonna push this away and let me a little bit zoom out take this away okay and I'm gonna put this cross stitching that I just put in a box so I was stitching at the camper and I just want to make sure my hands is really dry because we know what's gonna happen with printed canvas I was stitch stitching it was very sunny day under the roof of my camper and all of a sudden from the attic uh, the roof water start drip right on my canvas oh my god you should see me run for my life and you see those bright patches that's what water got in here in here in here that's a water splash in here i already start to stitch with the black over that spot but in here as much as fast i was trying to clean the water the ink already spread it out and now I have to figure out if that's a kind of like a L symbol or a dot. You see what it is? So now for this spot, I will have to look on my paper pattern. In here, I know that this is all going to be with the black color. Because all this yellow color, it's a black color. So no problem here. But I definitely ruined a little bit canvas in here. And I try to dab it out with the towel on the bottom and paper towel on the top to get water as fast as possible but it still got me a little bit a little bit in here you can see the patch of blue but in here it's mostly it's the same kind of symbol so this how dangerous that is to get water on this canvas so when you work on it make sure it's always in your ziplock bag or some kind of container that if you spill something accidentally it's not gonna damage your canvas so for now because we're messing with the water that's why i'm gonna put right back in this box so we can continue with our canvas and i have with me already here white towel that we're gonna put canvas on when we finish wash let's see now okay number two it's it's going away slowly how about the other puppy a little bit stronger because it was a big print of the number if we can see in here all those lines grids already gone you see how nice and white already and all those dmc codes already gone from here as well something black in here looks like a threads or something got in here I don't know yeah so pretty much it's already done just those two numbers almost dissolve in here almost dissolve so I'm gonna change now water for the fresh one and I will be right back with clean water so I'm just gonna pause the video right now so my first wash literally took probably less than five minutes that's how fast ink is dissolving so now I have fresh water and I'm gonna put maybe like a tablespoon of the soap again and let's just make sure all the residue of ink will be gone Like you just uh, squish it, but don't do like this. So you don't tear your threads or some ends on the other side don't come out. 
I just want to make sure all those number two is disappear from puppy's forehead and it feels like it's all clean now if you want you can leave like this for another five minutes I'm just gonna investigate even through the light this is definitely some kind of like a black threads inside in here so that's not ink a little bit pinkish in here I'm not sure if that's a ink or threads we're gonna leave a little bit canvas looking good lifetime washing I came I water all my roses it start to bloom for the second or third time some bushes okay trying to figure out if this is ink in here or no it looks like a a little bit of maybe red threads I don't know you know that's interesting because this line when I say it's a little bit of pink uh, threads coming out it's actually I can see the line all the way through so it's a looks like one tiny piece of thread maybe like a pinkish underneath or maybe ink so we're gonna leave this like this for about I don't know another two minutes or so and then I'm gonna squish it out when I pull it out I just do like like this squish the water out gently and then we're gonna rinse it. So I'm gonna leave it for maybe two minutes, see if that rest of the ink or thread, whatever the pink is, will disappear or not. And I will be right back. Okay, if you are ready, I'm ready. And I'm literally gonna put right now cold water out of my hose. And I'm gonna rinse this cold water. You can do all this work in your sink, in your bathtub, but right now when it's nice, you know, warm outside, summer, definitely good to mess outside is the best. Less messing out inside of your house, right? And let's see. We're gonna rinse all the leftover of the ink. And I will do two times or whatever is water not soapy anymore okay and I literally just gonna dump this water on, on the backyard See how nice and clean now all those lines disappear of course I'm gonna show you a little bit close now the pinkish line it go through the canvas all the way through I'm not sure if you will see it. it's barely barely visible right in here mm, you're probably not gonna see it so when it's dry definitely not gonna be visible at all probably Okay, so the water is clean now. I don't think I need to rinse anymore. I'm gonna squish this water out as much as I can, just like that. 
Let me take this bowl out. Okay. What we're gonna do now? We're gonna straight canvas stretch. And I actually gonna do on the other side so I, I don't flatten my stitches. Just to make sure your canvas is absolutely straight. That way it's gonna take a better shape and your cross stitches will stretch and have a good shape as well. Okay, and what I do now, I will roll together with towel. You know, when you roll in towel, the stitching kind of getting squished, so it's okay. Just flatten with your hand and go. Well, we can do maybe this way as well, it doesn't matter. We just want to get water out. See what I'm doing? Like this. When it's get a little wrinkly in here, I'm just like pulling to stretch. Okay. And I'm just squishing it to get the water out of the canvas. As much as possible. When it's still damp, not very, very wet, but a little bit damp, you can iron, but put in another sheet of something on the top and then iron. Uh, don't iron straight on your floss because you can melt your floss, depends if that's natural stuff or polyester. Look at those puppies, aren't they adorable? Um, I'm gonna put this towel right on my brand new table so I can show you on a sunshine a little bit better details so you can see but I'm just gonna leave it like this to dry you can put on different towel this towel not wet that's it I'm gonna leave it like this dry but on the inside not outdoor because if flies sit it can make a stain so let me show you on the sunshine do we have a cuteness overload? I think we do. Look how beautiful. All those colors print is gone. I love the way the shades under uh, wood, like a grainy wood. I think the colors is really good in here. Uh, you can do, as I mentioned before, back stitching to outline poppy will be much more beautiful but I'm just gonna leave it as it is here it is my puppies looks adorable yes that pink line right in here it go through the whole thing I think it's just like a piece of red thread cut up there you can simply cut in here and pull it out if you don't want to but I don't think it's very visible. It's barely, barely visible. And like on this side, it's continuous in here. So that's in the, and in here, a little bit of the black threads got when fabric Ada was made. Other than that, I think I'm really happy how they look. 
and of course with white eyes they look much better than with yellow there you go here you go so what do you think this video probably gonna be way too long I hope you enjoy it and yes I can say that take me probably all together like five minutes to wash this canvas ink came out very fast On this note, I will say goodbye and I will see you next time.